okay, so we're still we're on our way out from the old uh, what do we call them? Uh, grave site. And uh, we found these along the surface here, kind of scratched around a little bit at the base of this old rotten tree. What do you got there, Jane? Well, that looks like a gun. A little mm. piece to a toy gun. It's pretty old, eh? Old and, and crusty. Kind of like me. Um, what else you got I don't there? Know what that is. It's, it's an interesting piece, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty sharp. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Anybody got any ideas? Any ideas for what that is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm very warm today. <laughs> yeah, don't take that into prison. Down here, we also scratched up this whole thing here, which is an old shotgun shell, and there's a lettering on it. I think that says Canuck on it. Dominion Canuck. Let me see if I can get focused a little. Check it out. It'll be an oldie. Mm. All right, cool. You put that in my pocket and uh, check it out on the net. Let's see if I can scratch up anything else here. Woo! All right, so still scraping around down at the base of this old tree here. Let's just come out. Check it out. It is the stem and a little bit of the bowl to an old clay pipe. There's a hole in the back of it. Let's check that out. Kind of neat. I can take that and put it in the collection. It's burnt up pretty good. Hmm. Neato. Cool little find. Later. What do you got there, Jane? Glass. <laughs> oh, insulated. Beautiful color, isn't it? Yeah. Hold it up to the light. There you go. Mm. That's pretty. Mm, oh, look, it's embossed. What's it say? Sometimes there's a date on them. Oh, is there? I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. 45. I got 45 there. Yeah, something New, New York. York. Something Cliff? Yeah, possibly. Let me see for a second. Yeah, because I I'll don't hold have it. eyes. Hold it up to the light. 45. Cliff Street, New York, WB something, Rochefield or something, it was broke, it's hard to see. Huh, cool, I bet that would have been old, probably from the 1890s maybe, maybe even earlier. Cool piece. Okay, we got a bottle right here, it looks like it might be a good one. So let's go ahead and dig that up over there. Right down in amongst the roots of this tree. <clears throat> Still stuck. With any luck, it might be embossed. That would be cool. Let's see. <sighs> oh, it's a, it's a big screw top. It is embossed up on the shoulder though. Just says contents, 15 fluid ounces. It's probably a, a cod liver oil bottle or something. What's that say? Can you read that? Registered 1930. Huh. There is some McDonald or something. No, Mick. McKee? I don't know what that says. I don't know. I'm not wearing my reading glasses, so I can't see. Anyways, <laughs> it's nothing too spectacular, it but it's kind of cool. Oh, it was amber. Mm. All right, over and out. Okay, so we're still just kind of looking around here. I've been here before, digging a couple of years ago. Seems like all the old stuff's already been picked through, but... Uh, this is just on the surface, it's broke, but let's check it out anyways. Are those old candy containers? This one's a car, old wagon. Geez, I might even take that. There's both pieces to it right there. Glue that back together. Right on. Neato, neato. Put that with the collection. Yeah, I like that. 
old car candy container. Probably from the 1930s. Late 1920s. Awesome. Lots of old pottery and stoneware and stuff here too. Good find. So we got a few good finds here so far. Thumbs up. Okay, we got a few more surface finds here, folks. Jane's rummaged up these things here. This one's pretty cool, but unfortunately the sides busted out of it. Oh, would have had another handle on it too. Flowers on it. This one here is busted too. We got a few of these little uh, electric fence insulators. Here's some more over here. Well, this is an old bottle. A nice big kick off in it, but it is full of some sort of goo. Looks like it might be cracked too. Let me just leave that one here. But here, check this one out. We got the Mountain Dew with the hillbilly on it. Those are always a good find. But these obviously aren't nearly as old as some of the other stuff here we're picking up. This is probably from 1968. Hillbilly Mountain Dew. Yahoo! No deposit, no return bottle. Sweet. So we've got a little, another little surface find here. Nothing too spectacular. It's just a clear bottle. But it is embossed. You see there. It's a Bright's bottle. I believe it's a liquor bottle. Established 1874. Oh, it's got the... Uh, what the heck? That's like a Bakelite lid, but it's... It says New Brunswick Liquor Control Board on it. TG Bright's Company Limited, Niagara Falls. Cool. That is actually kind of cool with the proper lid on it. Hmm. Neato. Well, we're still here. We're thinking about getting out here, but I decided to scratch around a bit in this stuff. And I got something right here. Oh, no. It's broke. You can see the top snicked off it. Oh, oh yeah. It would have been the old orange crush bottle. The amber one. Nice old bottle. Oh, well. Better luck next time. <laughs> okay, so here's another Schweppes bottle just come out. I'll we'll keep that. We got a bunch of uh, Hillbilly Mountain Dew bottles. We got four here and one in my pocket. The stoneware lid come out. And uh, the other broken pieces to it would have been like a honey pot or something. And there's a... mason jar lid there and it's all embossed I don't think it's manganese glass but it's definitely embossed I'm not sure what the company is but I'll take that off and check it out a little closer and other than that we haven't got really too much a horseshoe come out there's a nice piece of iron decorative piece yeah I might actually come back here another time in the future and scrape around a little bit more there's some old stuff in here, mixed with some new stuff. So, right on. Okay, we got something right here. Check it out. It's an amber cork top. Nice. Check it out. That's pretty cool. I should be wearing gloves. You gotta keep to that one. Is there anything in it? Yeah. It's on the, oh. That'll look really nice when it's cleaned up. Yeah. I see, uh, what, well, there's a old pertussum. Ooh, look, the stuff's still in it, the cough syrup. Oh, well, well maybe you take some of that. You might feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should. <laughs> By the time we get out of this hole. Yeah. There's actually some uh, interesting stuff yeah, right here. Some of the stuff's a lot older than the others. Oh, look, awesome. There's another. There's a Rundle's liniment. Wow, that's pretty cool.
Mm. Too bad it, they didn't uh, let it some be some boss as well. None such. What does that mean? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. You're pretty smart. Oh, that's what you keep saying. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. All right. Well, what's that? Huh. That's like really old, though. What is that made of? No, it isn't. It's plastic or something, isn't it? What is it? Can you tell by feeling it? Is it plastic or like a Bakelite or something? It's, it's like, not plastic, it's is it? It's not plastic, but it's not China. Huh, weird. It's almost like a clay or something like a... Yeah, well, there's markings on it. Made in... Japan. No. Hong Kong. And no, I like... Made, made in, in Boston. No. Boom. I don't know what that says. I don't know. Boonton? Something in USA. Anyways, we'll keep looking around. Pretty, pretty neat. Holy smokers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's some more old glass. Unfortunately, it's all broke. It would have been a beautiful shoe fly flask. Nice color to that one. And right up here. We got a uh, case gin. I can't remember what the embossed on that would have said. But I don't think it's anything too uh, rare. Here's some more glass up here. All right. See, that's some old stuff. All colored glass. There's a bone. Huh? Anyways, I'll get you back up if we find anything more interesting. All right, we're all done for the day, folks. Well, we're all done digging here for the day anyways. We'll probably hit another spot or two just to check it out. And then we got our finds put in the vehicle. And there's another vehicle coming, so. Anyways, we're gonna head out. See you later, say bye, Jane. Bye, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> later, folks. You guys ever dream about bottle digging? I dream about bottle digging and exploring like just about every night. <laughs> Very bizarre. <laughs> Good day, YouTubers. Thanks for joining me here on another Bottle Digging Recap. And Jane and I were out in this one. And uh, we got some colorful finds, as you can see, in this one here today. First, we went looking for some abandoned gravestones. And we found those. Well, that'll be in a future video. And then on the way back out, we hit this dump site and boys i'm glad we did actually i didn't plan on it but we hit it anyways and uh, it turned out pretty good so let's get into it first up folks for all you new diggers and uh new viewers i always keep the blue bottles people say why do you keep those old noxema bottles well i'll tell you folks i've sold a lot of these bottles just this year nearly I th actually, I think over $700 worth of these blue bottles. You believe that? That's pretty wild. So I always keep the blue bottles. Very easy to get rid of. People love them. And uh, speaking of blue bottles, Sky Vodka. That's on the menu tonight. 40% alcohol, $30 bottle, and it is blue. Cobalt blue. And when you hear the bell, have a drink, folks. So, next up, this big amber cork top bottle, it is full of gunk. Now, I didn't fully clean it for the video, but I will clean it up in the future. But uh, I just cleaned it up enough for this recap. Nice old cork top bottle. I like the uh, square shaped ones. They look nice. And next up, we got a lot of finds here. <laughs> We're going to get through these. All right, so next up, Jane found this piece here. This is what I believe is off an old shoe, a very old shoe. Check it out. Like it almost looks like a horseshoe, but I think it's off a human shoe for sure. It's got these uh, like rivets here where the fabric would have been attached. 
very cool piece and I'm guessing that's very very old uh, next up we got the uh, clay pipe probably like from the 1890s or very early 1900s and uh, I got my chest here that I keep my clay pipe pieces in as you can see and it's getting full so I'll just put that in there with the rest close her up thank you very much all right onward that bell again it's drink time man I'm good I got some chips here too folks chips and uh, hummus num nums well, I put a dent into that earlier that hummus mmm that's good all right so the old hillbilly Mountain Dew can we get focused on that one You can kind of see it there. There's the hillbilly there. Saying, Yahoo! A Mountain Dew. The hillbilly's holding a jug. It's popping the cork off. Going through the brim of his hat. And uh, these are quite popular. These ones here. Quite likely. It's a no, no uh, deposit, no return bottle. And likely from 1968. And next I want to show you. This is a similar styled bottle. It's uh, Schweppes. Like Schweppes ginger ale, no deposit, no return. And there is lettering on the back of this one. Bottled under authority of Schweppes, Canada Limited, Montreal, Canada. From Essence, imported from Schweppes, London, England. And I want to show you this amber one that I dug up last year. Same thing, no deposit, no return. And uh, I've only ever found two of these brown ones, and this makes two green ones. Very uncommon bottle to find, at least in this area. Here's another one here. So I've only ever found four of them. Two green, two brown. And I've seen a lot of dump sites, and I've done a lot of digging, so I don't know. Pretty cool bottles to find. Okay, next we got stoneware lid. It's in pretty good condition. And I think in one of the clips you can actually see the uh, the base or the, the jug that that would go to in there. But it was broke, unfortunately. This here, mason jar lid. Get a good look at that. I, I don't know uh, what company that is, but I'm sure somebody out there knows if they're watching. But there is all kinds of funky stuff going on with that. I can't make heads or tails out of it. But it is manganese glass, folks. It's got a really nice purplish hue starting with it, actually. You can kind of make it out there. Alright, so there's that. Then we got, uh, Jane found this broken insulator. It's going to be hard to read that as well. It was W. Brookfield, Field, 45 Cliff Street. New York. And that one's going to be dated uh, 1883 to 1884, I believe, is the information I could come up with. The ones from that date say 45 Cliff Street on them, so there you go. That's an oldie as well. I figured it was quite old. Haha, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> okay, next up we got two uh, porcelain electric fence insulators. And this one here has one of those double headed nails in it. Check that out. Yeah, pretty cool. These are uh, quite common. They, I mean, they were used very frequently on electric fences, and uh, there are fences all over this place. Because there's a lot of farmland. And then next we got this glass candy container. This is the old Woody Station Wagon. Which dates about from the 1930s or 40s. And I glued this one back together. There was It was in two pieces. 
but unfortunately it's missing this wheel in the front and also this offset one on the back but check it out folks still pretty cool I'm getting a pretty good collection of these old glass candy containers now and every one I've found so far is different I haven't found a double these are not as a lot of people think Avon cologne bottles <laughs> these are <laughs> old antique candy containers dating way back to the 1920s the real early ones had a metal base on them and then uh, later on they turned into cardboard but uh, there it is very cool I like it and finally folks well let me have a little bit of this hummus man this hummus is taking a beat and I just love it finally I just have some shards here lots of red shards and a big old piece of manganese glass you can kind of see the purple down here yeah once again people say well why would you bother saving that I save all these old interesting colored pieces put them in a shoe box and sell it and as a matter of fact folks the shoe box that I'm working on right now I already have sold somebody said they will buy it so there you go so it's just a matter of filling it up now okay folks that's it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed um, Jane and I will be in more videos together in the near future and also some of just me doing some solo missions so stay tuned for those uh, have a great day everybody over and out